Hey guys, welcome to this reaction. This next one was recommended to me by SDG through my Buy Me A Coffee website. Collaboration between Mark Knopfler and Chet Atkins. It's called Poor Boy Blues. So thank you SDG for your coffees. And let's look at this song. We've done a lot of Mark Knopfler on this channel, but no Chet Atkins so far. And I do know him as one of the fathers of the finger style. I know Tommy Emanuel is very deeply inspired by him. And so this is really exciting collaboration for me. And let's dive straight in. <laughs> very country. Is that Elvis? Ah. Very chill. So I'm sitting on my own here with these poor boys. Nice harmony. One day, baby, you will see. You're gonna be for your love to me. I'm the one, baby, that you're gonna Steel guitar. But in the meantime, I got these poor boys. Wow. Okay. Ah. <laughs> 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 Okay, 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 okay. This is such a masterclass. That's what I was looking for. This is such a masterclass of guitar playing. So, very country, right? It feels like a tribute to Elvis. You can see him in the background as well. You could hear the steel guitar in there, which is like, it's like a, it's like a sort of like a dobro, but it's, it's a guitar that you play like this and you have, the strings are high and it's usually, so you can play with the, with like a slide on it, so it creates this singing basically all the way uh, in the harmony, very lax, very nonchalant. Makes me smile, brings joy to me immediately when I hear this rhythm. This sort of walking bass, this is what uh, Chad Atkins is famous for, by the way, this. That where the thumb goes basically back and forth. And then the fingers go against it in the syncopated sort of way. Mark Knopfler's solo was, again, such a masterclass. Very tasteful and played exactly in the style that this music needs. He was doing these sort of percussive sounds on the guitar. It's just the language, right? Like, just before this reaction, I recorded reactions to a heavy metal band, and it has its own language, it has its own kind of shredding sort of thing where you play a lot of notes. You exploit this heavily distorted sound to be able to do all these legato uh, fast licks, but here it's about playing few notes. Remember when Elvis Presley started, there were no electric guitars at first. In the early years of rock and roll, before the electric guitar was invented, uh, you couldn't do all these things. So it was just about these very specific licks, a lot of times these double stops as well, that, um, that created that style. And then later on, electric guitar was developed and you could afford to do very different things. But yeah, this is how it all started. And this song is staying very true to the roots. And no matter when the song was created, this was probably the intention. It feels like. Let's continue. Things won't always be the same. Someday soon, everything will change. You tell your mama her baby's got the
Chad. This is Chad, right? This is Mark. Hmm. Very simple. Such a cool list. I should learn this. Ooh, a little bit of minor pentatonic in there. Ooh, sixth. <laughs> Wow, you might think this is easy, it's not, it's not, it's very specific and like I can't play like this at all, for example. I noticed some of these like sixes, so this interval of six in music, and they would like move it uh, chromatically, chromatically means via semitones, things like that. Wow, such a masterclass and there was this there was this one move that um, Chad Atkins did that just blew my mind. <laughs> you could see his uh, thumb pick as well. So that's another thing he, he's been famous for. This is called thumb pick. And it's a... Just put it on your thumb, right? I also mentioned this thing where blues a lot of the times combines minor major pentatonic. So the song is in the major. So the main scale you can think of this song in is the E major pentatonic or E, e blues scale. But the blues note, this note is from minor pentatonic. So you can kind of jump between those two. Major. And that was a minor. So all these little things are super exciting and interesting the message of the song is quite simple right it's like um i don't know what's gonna happen i know it's going to come tomorrow but after all i have this poor boy blues blues was created from pain right from the horrendous slavery like that's the, that's the roots of it singing this horrible pain out and despite injustice or horrible things that are happening in the world i can still find meaning and lightness in my life and then that's i feel what what blues is so beautiful by it. even and it actually connects to the combination of the major and minor scale by the way that i just showed the major the lightness the minor The pain. It's amazing how music can express these things without words. Uh, much more deeply, I believe. Okay, awesome. This was great. Thank you so much for recommending this. Again, if you wish me to react some of the songs that you like, uh, share your requests either in the comments or through the Buy Me A Coffee website. The ones that go through the Buy Me A Coffee website I prioritize, and then once I run out of those, I go to the comments. On this channel, the general topic is music that connects to something deeper in us, that transcends just entertainment and words and lyrics that touches us deeply. So I'm not really concerned about this, the genre so much. What I'm looking for is performances that are really special in this way, that are really touching, that you have very strong uh, connection to. Maybe some experiences in your... Maybe the song helped you resolve some traumas in your life, or maybe you went through a tough period of your life and you have a song that really saved you. Maybe you have some nostalgia connected to this particular song so share these with me share these songs that mean something to you thanks so much for watching please subscribe uh, give this video a thumbs up see you in the next one keep it funky Whew.